So I've just finished like a tool sort of binge I want to say and I thought I'd show you pretty much what I keep in my bag. So this is like my bricklaying tools. So first up on the side we got a tape measure here, a pair of gloves here and two other tape measures here. These two are like they're just ruined. Like these are the ones I was using like daily for slating and all that stuff, they're both pretty much the same. And then uh, I think on the other side, I got another pair of gloves. Yeah, so there's another pair of gloves here. And in here, I think, if I remember, yeah, I got two uh, corner blocks I made. So, um, yeah, don't, don't buy them when you can make them kind of thing, you know? So I got these. All right, on to the actual, uh, actual bag. Alright, so newest edition to start with. Two uh two brick clamps. I bought two of these, they're brand new. Used them like once so far. So that's uh, good. Let's get the second one out. Oh god. This is really just an excuse for me to pull everything out and organize it. Another new addition is four F clamps. So uh I got these, so these are going to be uh, used on profiles. Uh, what next? Ah, Marshalltown gauger. Because uh, just need a gauger sometimes. It's always good to have one. All right, what's next? What is next? Lump hammer. I think it's a four pound one. I don't know, I've had it a few years now. You can see it's worn because I do the bad. Lamp hammer where I tap the blocks with the handle. Shouldn't do that, but I do it. Uh, silver line uh, four inch bolster chisel. Because, uh, you know, you need a bolster as well as your hammer. Let's see. Ah, silver line folding, folding square. So, what are these ones? See? So it just folds out into, into a big square. Always need a square. I got another one, but I've left that in the van. Uh, rough brush, just for cleaning out forever. You know, it's just, I got it for, well, as you can see, it broke, broke so I just like, oh, I'll have that, kind of thing. Uh, some feb, because you never know when you're going to need it, just keep it handy. Rubber mallet. For uh, slabbing, uh, or like copings or anything delicate work you need to do. Uh, what else we got? Marshalltown pink nylon line, brand new. I haven't wrapped up yet. Speaking of lines, we might as well move on to these ones. It's my ox lines, but again a bit frayed. So I thought I might as well. Um, I'm gonna get another set of pins or ox pins and ox line. So that's good. Um, sliding bevel for when you're working on your gables. So what you need. It's a good thing to have. So I think it's like what was a quarter inch bolster chisel. Little one. It's good for making like intricate cuts in blocks and a boat level, standing boat level. I've got a four foot and a two foot somewhere else. I can't bother to go get them. A uh, jointed iron. 16 and 19 mil. I need to get a smaller one, but you know. That'll come in time. I got a bunch of Sharpie pens in here. I just kept because I saw like a 10 pack and I was like, all right, well, why not? Let's get a 10 pack of Sharpie pens. So I've used a couple of them. Framing uh, speed square, so just I've just got it just to have it. A Rolson bucket trowel. This is fairly new as well, like quite new. It's Marshalltown to make a bucket trowel apparently. Uh, Marshalltown pointing trowel. It needs a clean. I know because of that rust. Oh, I need to clean it, but I'll get to it when I get to it. Your defenders. Good, M Power, comfy. Gotta have them because I got the Evolution Disc Cutter. 
WD-40 to clean, well, pretty much clean the tools, but I haven't done that on my point and trowel in a while. I've got the instructions and the spanner for the evolution just there. It's just in there, that's the instructions. I've got neodymium magnets because you can hook them onto the end of your tape and if you say you drop your trowel for whatever, you pick them up. Uh, they're always handy. Another set of corner blocks that I made. I had a chop saw, I was like, all right, make some corner blocks. So, yeah. They were, I think they were four by two. Yeah, they were four by two. So we got another set of corner blocks. Uh, tech pointer. So, yeah. Marshall Town again. I'm a, I'm a fanboy if I am one. And uh, lying on a piece of baton. Because if you haven't done this, I don't think you're a builder, to be honest. And the 10 inch Marshalltown brick and trowel. This thing is suiting well so far. Not too banged up, which is good. Uh, I like to look after them. I've got like a little nick or anything in the handle. It's good. I like to look after the trowel. The trowel is the main thing. So yeah, this is what I I prefer. I prefer Marshall Town, and I prefer a 10 inch for almost everything. I know some people go smaller and some people go bigger for block work, but this is my all rounder. But yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video. And it's just a standing tool bag. I can't remember where it come from, but you know, it's one of those. But yeah, cheers. And I'll catch you in the next one.